Hey guys, Mike Fortin here with Miniature Aircraft USA and YS Engines. Wanted to talk a little bit about a fuel bladder. I had posted something on my Facebook account last night with regards to a fuel bladder that I'm running with the YS120 engine. I uh, had a lot of questions and a lot of messages uh, and I figured the best way to show the system would be to do just a really quick video. Um, here are the things you're going to need. Basically this is a 17 inch latex balloon. Um, it's made out of a tough text material which means it's just a little bit thicker than a typical balloon. Holds up to uh, nitro really well. Uh, I've had this in the helicopter now for a couple weeks uh, and it's held up really well. Uh, another thing is typical, this is just AeroTrend fuel tubing. Um, this is actually a flavor injector for turkeys or whatever it may be. You can find that in pretty much any kitchen. Uh, and of course a YS120. Now this is something that is beneficial for any engine. Um, whether it's a 91, a 120, a 105, whatever it may be, this is something that's beneficial for any engine. It's not just beneficial for uh, a YS120. Bladder systems have been around in pylon racing and things like that uh, for a long, long time and it seems uh, over the past year or so it's become popular in helicopters. Uh, guys like Tim Jones, Leon Luke have been running this for a while uh, and the performance is is really really good. Um, so basically what I just wanted to show you is the, the materials you're going to need and of course how to do it really quick. Um, basically with the fuel line what we're going to do is um, for time's sake I'm just going to cut a couple or maybe even one um, and we're just going to kind of cut some crowns into the fuel tubing um, and we're going to make them in kind of a diagonal pattern uh, and this is going to allow uh, the fuel line to get uh, fuel from pretty much any angle. Um, so we've got one hole there, uh, do another one here uh, on the opposite side and this is going to run down the length of the fuel tubing. Um, Again, the fuel tubing length is going to depend on the size of the balloon. Um, and so you kind of get the picture as to the, uh, the holes, and that's, of course, going to run down the length of the tube. Once you've done that, you're basically going to take the balloon, you're going to insert the balloon into uh, the, uh, the tube into the balloon as such. Uh, with the tube in there, as you can see, stretch it out a little bit. Um, this is going to go onto your uh, grommet here your fuel nipple uh, going into the tank, whichever tank it may be. Um, in this case, it's, it, it would be in a whiplash uh, nitro. Um, I don't have an extra fuel tank here, but uh, I do have this little um, plastic piece here. Basically, just for, again, for just video's sake, this is going to illustrate kind of how it goes into the tank like such. Once this gets inflated with air, uh, it's going to, ex uh, with fuel rather, it's going to expand. Once, before you actually put the fuel into the balloon, what you're going to want to do is take these, this uh, uh, the syringe here, uh, insert it, and you're going to want to suck out all of the air. This basically gives it an air-free system, um, which is why it does run so much better as opposed to something like a fuel magnet or uh, a bubbleless clunk or anything like that. So making the system completely uh, void of air is what adds the uh, performance increase. So with that being said, uh, that is how you will make a fuel bladder system. If anyone has any questions, you can shoot me an email at mike at mike-3d.com or visit my website mike-3d.com or on Facebook.